Is it the enormous amount of uh, people that have gone to prison trying to live that bullshit lifestyle y'all rap about? Ain't no music going to affect them, but it's these yeah, but children of the same, today. Hold it's on, not hold just hold more hold so the music. Yeah. It's a combination of because, things. It's because music. They, they let these But these, also these hold up the differences. And these lines influence them. It used to be filtered. It's not filtered anymore. Remember, it used to have different versions. What used to be played on the actual radio was filtered and it was censored. But then if you bought, bought this, what was but, called but, the but CD, knew. it was uncensored. We have a viral video from a man that says that says nothing good has come from gangster rap. This thing has mm. been See, blowing it, up the bro. internet, man. Yeah, man. Oh, this show has been blowing the internet. Let's it's go. It's Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. See, I had a lot of comments when I said that shit about Jay Z. Oh my God. And mm-hmm. hip hop all together, but it's true. You name one goddamn good thing that's come out of the hip hop culture. I'll wait. Is it the enormous amount of uh, people that have gone to prison trying what? to live that bullshit lifestyle y'all rap about? Mm. How many people gone to prison? How many people been murdered? How many people in the streets trying to live that fucking bullshit lifestyle y'all brag about and talk about like it's something special? First like of all, so he cool act like that. Uh, that, that uh, uh, what's what that? What is uh, the hip hop culture done for the culture in general? Sorry. It ain't done nothing for it. You are not it ain't done a goddamn out. thing. It's made a lot of people dead. How do you know? <laughs> How many rappers every year catch a bullet? How do that you fucking what? Lifestyle? A person don't have to be a damn Anybody rapper to catch a bullet. Shit. Matter of fact, most people be glad when the hip hop gangster rap culture is gone. They will be happy. And the way y'all are killing each other, it won't take long at all. Sir. Mm. Most of y'all to be in fucking prison. Most of you gonna go to prison. Drug dealing, gang banging, murders for hire. There is not one redeeming quality that comes out of gangster rap. It is a destructive force. That has taught you to disrespect women, disrespect yourselves. Ain't a goddamn Shut good thing that's come out of that up. fucking rap game. There ain't nothing good that's come out of it. Just a lot of murdering, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of lives ruined, a lot of the inner city destroyed. Exactly. Let, you know let, 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 let me so, say. This whole take one heavy metal. Heavy metal. But, you know, now, now, a couple of things that I want to agree and disagree with. For one, now, it's not about the gangster rap. That right. part I, I disagree because we would listen to like NWA, you know what I mean, back in the day. And this was way before that drill rap and all that. I mean, because, yeah, I mean, it was e- Easy E, NWA, it was that hardcore rap. Mm-hmm. And we wasn't out committing crimes, shooting up the police, killing cops, and nothing like that because we knew better. We knew better. So it's not about the music because. If your child knows right from wrong, who has morality, ain't no music going to affect them. But it's these yeah, but children of the same, today. Same, it's on, not just on, more so the music. Yeah. It's a combination of because, things. It's because music. They, they let these. But these, also these hold up the differences. And these lines influence them. It used to be filtered. It's not filtered anymore. Remember, it used to have different versions. What used to be played on the actual radio was filtered and it was censored. But then if you bought, bought this, what was but, called but, the but CD, knew. it was uncensored. But everybody couldn't buy the actual seat. But now, hold up. And then you got everything on YouTube and social media. But then again, you have all these other dumbass people. Yeah, but, but we still know. I'm telling you, it's this generation. They, they're dumb, dumb as a motherfucker. Listen, uh, they're uh, dumb. Uh, uh, well, let me go back. Yeah, heavy metal is, is not that much much of a difference. Each other. No, 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 no. So what so makes you think that they not? Heavy metal, because heavy metal is just like a bunch of roaring and guitars. They don't really say nothing. Yeah, but the, the, what the, about the, 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 the lyrics in some of that? That stuff is, is like really like deep. Okay. Have I, you ever I, actually listened to some yeah, of those words? Yeah, but have they you talk met, about death and stuff. But they're but, not but, killing each other. But, let's kind of take it back, because um, what kind of music were uh, the people that were lynching people back in the twenties and the thirties? What music was they listening to? 
because I'm pretty sure music was out then, mm-hmm. and they were lynching black people and minorities and all. So can we blame the music that they were listening to for the reason why they burnt down Tulsa, I, I, Oklahoma? I, I, I don't think so, it's, it's just about music. No, That's I'm not, what I'm I'm not, saying. I'm not, not saying just, that. I'm just saying I'm just trying to make a point to his point. Because he's just trying to say, like, oh, because it is gangster rap, this is why people are killing each other. Well, again, y'all were lynching black people. You burned down black towns and stuff like that. So, obviously, the music that y'all was listening to was doing that. That's number one. Number two, uh, Hillbilly, Willie, whoever he is, who makes him qualified to to ask this question? Because if you don't listen to rap music, if you haven't been in the areas where rap music is being made and things of that nature. Yeah, Jay-Z, that's an easy name. That's like, again, when I listen to country music, they talking about uh, beating my wife or stuff or with a truck. Hang my way by this tree. Again, the the reason (laughs) cheated on me. The the reason why our culture (laughs) created the term wife beater is because all, every time we saw a white woman getting beat by yeah, white undershirt beater, that's where it came from. So again, w- what about that? That's number one. Number two, again, the music, like you said, it's all about influence. I grew yeah. up, I grew up listening to all, all everything, Biggie, Tupac, Nah, all of it, and I, I never did a crime in my life. So at the end of the day, okay. it's a very small a minority. This is the one thing that I hate about. Uh, social media and I hate about um, pop culture because what happens is the people that control the media will tell you that this this genre of music has the children out of hand and all that. I just seen a stat uh, that they last narrative. year. narrative and it's not just show social media it's everything on, it's on. the news too. Last year the, the amount of murders that we had in Philadelphia right the people that did the murders equated to like 1.3% of the population. So the people that are doing the the killings in this city only equate to 1.3% of the population. So that lets you know that that's a very, very small part of our population. But if you watch the news or if you watch social media, it make it seem like it's lawlessness where you can't even go outside to your car because you're going to get killed. You you got to pee out your window. Right, right, just to go get some water out your car. So at the end of the day, again, I'm not letting letting this man tell you thinking what he... Just like like negativity sells. So all that is selling, and and that that and boost and increase well, their ratings, and that's what they want. We, we, we fall into it. I, we'll uh, we'll you. allow him to say something. And be, oh yeah, I agree with you. No, you don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what it, it. These record labels, the record labels are owned by prisons. Period. So they are brainwashing our young adults, man, and they falling for the trap. They falling for the trap. Period. Point blank. This bullshit. This First of all, this bullshit will never chart. This music here is it'll never chart. There's no uh sustainability to it. The music is just straight trash, man. It is um it is, but uh, again for me, it's a it's a little deeper for me cuz it's 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 more of a socioeconomic issue. Again, when you got, you know, mamas who who got to work all day to provide for their kids and things of that nature, yeah, you gonna be a kid if you uh, uh, remember the term back in the nineties, latchkey kid. Mm-hmm. Latchkey kids, cause mom had to work and dad was at work, or he might not have been there or whatever. So yep. you was home alone. Now the difference is, is that these kids just have more access. We didn't have access because there was no internet. They have access, so that's the only that that's one of the biggest problems. A lot of kids are not it, being combination of because things. They so they have be. they have access, and then the parenting is totally different. But some it's of the parents many, can't be. Too many so of these who, parents that's trying to be their friends. So, who, who failed who? What generation failed? Oh, the generation the, failed because it's like okay, yeah. Well, where did they go? Children. Because you got to think about it. The older, the older generation, the ones that's kind of sort of like dying off now, compared which is, to which is my generation. No, the ones no, older than you. Parents generation. Your parents' parents generation. Your parents' generation. Right. I don't know because I got a lot of friends that's dying off. Like, mm-hmm. like, oh, because cancer. Because of course, I'm not cancer, drugs. So the generation under the baby boomers. No, it's the baby boomers, and then it's the like I don't know what they are. I guess they would be Generation X, because the baby boomers is like the seventies to right. like the uh, to the like mid fifties now. Or uh, okay, so no, the, no, the baby boomers is like from the from the, the baby f- boomers. I believe is my mother's generation. Something yeah, with, with those boomers. with those baby boomers. I don't know because it was so many of them, or I guess they felt like they was left out or whatever. But however, you had their parents that raised them but then they got so strict with us then it, they 
left us alone. So it was like, yeah. okay, yeah, you know, I raised you to a certain extent, to a certain point, and now here so you are. Like, and now I'm not going to discipline yourself. my children. I'm not going to beat my children the way my mother or my, or my father beat me or, or discipline me. And that would they say that's the reason why these these children are so lawless. I don't know because I don't. It's, it's hard to say because everybody was raised a little different, but it yeah. seemed like those baby boomers. Their way of living was different than their than their parents' generation. So it was like, well, the baby sixty four. So if you think about it, the youngest baby boomer is what? Well, These, again, that would be my mother. They, they would be turning yeah. sixty this year. Because my mother is about is about seventy. And so the baby boomers from forty six is so about seventy nine to sixty is the baby boomers. Yeah. I don't know. There's something to think about. Anyway, let's slide to the next video. Mm. Let's go. Drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think.